All right, welcome to the Career Ambition Podcast. So today we have uh, me, Soko, Jay Marie, and Giovanni. Welcome, Giovanni. Hey, what's up? What's going on? Thanks for having me. Long, 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 long time friends. Wow. And we brought him here to kind of discuss this hot topic that has been going around for a while. I think the height of this hot topic was uh, 2017. Yeah. And, um, you know, there's some articles going on, some Dr. Phil episodes. So we're going to talk <laughs> about it again. And um, the hot topic for today is um, transgendered versus transracial. Are they different? Or are they the same? This is a big argument across the board. So let's talk about it. Go ahead, Jim Marie. Tell me more. So, okay. So the reason why this topic came up for me was that um, there's a blogger I follow. His name is Josen Cummings. Josen, this is so crazy that I'm talking about this. So Josen has a blog called Until I Get Married. And we've been following Josen through all of his date nights, everything. And then Josen ha- actually got engaged. It was amazing. Congrats for, for Josen. So on the day that they were supposed to get married, his fiance posted a blog to their wedding website detailing that Josen was having affairs with several different women. Like Josen was out here. She found text messages. Like the day before they were supposed to get married, he actually slept with someone that night. So she was like really upset. It was really fucked up. And this was a big deal because like Josen was this guy that we all like thought was like super moral, super ethical. Like he, we were rooting for them, right? So it was kind of like you're watching an angel fall from heaven, literally. So Twitter is ablaze. Everyone's losing. But what was really interesting about what she put in this blog was that she said that Josen, she alluded to the fact Josen is, is Japanese and black, or so we thought. Apparently, Josen is actually Japanese and white. So all this time, black Twitter, the black community has been rah, 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 Josen. Josen's not black. And he's been like, he's been in everything black, doing black shit with the black birds at Twitter, like, it was wild, right? <laughs> so we're all like, yo, this motherfucker is right here. Rachel Dollars all us. Like, and we were losing it on, on Black Twitter, right? So I'm, try- I'm starting to think, I'm like, wow, transracial might actually be like a thing. Like, he really felt in his heart that he identified with the Black community. He was, he was Black. So then it raised the conversation with, for, for me again, the thought were like, what is the true difference between transgender and transracial? So that's why I bring this topic to you all today. Soko, you're you're, um, muted, bro. All right. So some definitions, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, Don't quote me on this. I pulled it from the internet, y'all. Don't be mad at me. Trans, transgender. Transgender is a term used to describe people whose gender identity differs from the sex a doctor marked on their birth certificate. Gender identity is a person's internal, personal sense of being a man or a woman. For transgender people, the sex they were assigned at birth and their own internal gender identity do not match, okay? Mm -hmm. Transracial was a term that went viral because transracial before was about black kids being adopted into white families. That was what the term really meant. Okay. So in 2017, when Rachel came out, she called herself transracial. That wasn't really the correct term, but now we consider it transracial. So depending on what context you're talking about transracial in, it can Mm -hmm. mean both things. So in this context, we're talking about describing people who identify with a race and different from their own. Okay? Okay. So when we look at it, when we really look at it, race and gender have a lot in common, right? Yes. Yes. Or Or is it gender and culture? What do you mean by that? What do you mean gender and culture have a lot in yes. common? Well, go, go ahead, Joe. Go ahead. I mean, I feel like it's about the experience because when you're transgender, that, that comes with an experience. Because, mm-hmm. you know, you start to look different and how people perceive you is different. You can't really change the color of your skin. Mm-hmm. You know, um, your whole life changes when you become transgender because, you know, you're living as a whole different gender. People treat you differently when you're a man or when you're a woman. So, I mean, I, I don't really understand how somebody can be transracial when your experience in the outside world doesn't change. At the end of the day, if you're a white woman, you're going to get treated like a white woman in the society. So even even though you identify as black, that doesn't change how you're going to interact with the world. 
Well, I, I understand that point, but let's think about the person Jay Marie was just talking about. What's his name? Because I don't know him. His name is Josen. But Josen, last year, let's let's right. talk about actually, we could talk about Josen or Rachel Dolezal. I think- Or the, Rachel, right? Yeah. She mm-hmm. presented as a black woman. She worked for the no. NAACP. Right. She looked every, like a black woman. She was treated she as a black like woman. woman. She was treated like a black she was woman. She like a black woman. She pulled that shit off. <laughs> she pulled that shit off. So what I'm saying, what- she like, pulled that shit off. <laughs> When you look at it, people always say, well, it's about the experience. And I get that. But if you're presenting yourself as a black woman or a black man, you're going to get that experience as a black woman or as a black man. Exactly. Exactly. And I would further argue that it's a little bit based on performance. Now, okay, so hear me out. Okay, so if you're, if you are a, man that wants to transition into, if you're born a cis man, you want to transition into a woman, you are a male to female trans person. You are a little bit basing what you believe to be womanhood on performance, on every, on the women you grew up with and how they behaved. You're, you're basing it on that. So someone that believes that they are transracial is also basing it on that a little bit as well. They're basing it on how they perceive black people, black people and black culture and how they act. Right. And then when we're born, so when we're born, gender and race don't matter. So like our culture is put on us, is taught to us over time. And so is gender. Gender is taught to us as well. So they put me in pink and my mom pierced my ears. So I was, I identified as woman from then on. I was treated that way in society and I performed in that way. But if they had dressed me in blue and never told me I was a girl, I guess I would have behaved as a man. And if they treated me in that way. So I think it's all a social construct, both gender and race. Y'all ain't got shit to say. <laughs> no, I don't have anything to well, say. I, 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 yeah. Go ahead, Giovanni. I kind of I kind of wonder because, I mean, for most transgender people, they identify like that since they were children. And that's something that just came natural to them. Yeah. But when you're a certain race, you're raised a certain way, your family is a certain way. At what point does something hit you and say, none of this is connecting with me? Hmm. Oh, I see what you're saying. Well. I mean, at what, you know what point, I'm at one point did it happen for you? Like, was she, was she a little girl saying, um, I forget her name, but was she a little girl saying I'm black? Or did she find that in adulthood? I don't know. Yeah, when, like, when we talk about Rachel, um, you know, I know that's a prime example. There's so many others out there. Yeah. She found that in adulthood because she adopted her um, kid brother and kid sister that were African-American black. Mm-hmm. So she figured it'd be easier for everyone if she identified as black. Hmm. Which is like, why would that be easier for everyone? But okay. So Joe, then I ask you the question, like you say, when did you, when did you wake up and feel otherwise? But what, like when I would say it would probably be like, when did that happen for you? When did I feel like that realization would come at almost like that same period, you know? And, and no, you're, I'm probably wrong in saying that, but like, you know what I like? I feel like there's a real, there's something that happens where you're like, wait, this isn't right. Something isn't right. So it's like, I would think those experiences right. will be similar. I mean, I just feel like, you know, for most of us, uh, we kind of identify with that in our childhood. And then at some point we can finally find a term to put to it and actually be able to take action. I just, I mean, I, I get where, first of all, you can't really tell somebody how to, how to identify. I mean, mm-hmm. people gravitate to what they connect to. You know, sometimes everything doesn't have, doesn't have an answer. You know what I mean? But um, transracial, that's something new. I didn't, I never heard about this term until recently. Um, so this is a new topic for me. But I do understand how people will compare it to, to, to this. But I just feel like the experience, the whole transgender experience is just something completely different. Um, and I just don't see how you can compare the two. It's like apple star oranges too. Do you think it's disrespectful to compare the two or you just don't think that they're at all related? No, I, I, I don't think it's disrespectful. I can see the logic behind it. 
Mm-hmm. I just, because I lived through this, I mean, the experience is just something that, um, that I've dealt with for most of my life. It's just so happy that I made my decision in, in my twenties, but this is something that I've been going through my whole entire life. Nothing really happened to where I was like, Oh, you know, it wasn't something that happened in my adulthood. It's something that I've been living with my whole entire life. So transracial or whatever, I feel like that happens in a certain point person's life, but I just don't, what triggered that would be my question. What made you feel like who you are, how you were raised, you know, what your parents instilled to you, all that culture that you've known your whole entire life. At what point did you say, this is not me? Hmm. And then I wonder, like, how would you, how would you vet that? Right. Like, has there been a way to identify? So, and I could be wrong about this, but from what I know about the transition experience in terms of gender is that you have to like, in order to, uh, I think, gain access to like certain types of treatments and certain types of medications, you have to see a therapist. Is that is that correct? Where you have to see a therapist to be like qualified, like they have to make sure that this is not something that you're going to, that you're just like halfway about. Is that true? Well, at one point they used to stress that you need therapy. You had to go through a whole process of like psychotherapy and then the doctor would, you know, give you the right to start that transitional process medically. Um, but nowadays, I mean, it's becoming so common and they're kind of bypassing that process. And pretty much you can just walk into a doctor's office and they'll do a quick evaluation. And before you know it, you're on hormones, you know? So. Wow. Wow. I didn't, yeah. cause, cause that's the thing is like, I do believe that in this situation, like transracial, there should be some type of mental evaluation for sure. Like, don't come in here. Like there's a woman who I believe she was on like Maury Povich or some ridiculous show. And I don't know if you guys remember her, but she had like breasts out to here. Martina. Yes. She looked like, like white grandma trying to be Nicki Minaj essentially is what she looked like. And just everything was just out to here. Her lips were out to, she was like a caricature of black women is what she was. And she was dark tan, like, oh, it was just, it was gross. And she wasn't even from this country. She was like European or something. And she, that's what, to her, that's what being black meant. And to me, like, that's just straight up performance. And, it, and it's, it's a little bit fucked up. You know what I mean? From her perspective, it's fucked up. But, I mean, if she looks in the mirror, she's happy. I guess it is what it is. Right. So when, when the, at the end of the day, when we talk mm. about transgender, transracial, whatever, mm. I mean, Transracial is this new topic and it seems taboo, but at the end of the day, who are we to decide if this person saying that they are black or this black person is saying they are white? So be it. Be white, be black, be whatever you want. Right. Just, don't pick, just don't pick when it's convenient for you what you want to be. Mm-hmm. Right. And I was That's about to say that too. I was about to say that because at some point I, I would think that, you know, as a white person, you know, you would use your privilege if you really had to. And then all of a sudden you're not black anymore. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Just don't pick and choose. <laughs> don't do that. You're going to be all the way black. Right. If you're going to be black, right. be all the way <laughs> black. So when, how about that case where that girl, I don't know, where she was on Dr. Phil and yep. she was black and she said she was white. Now, yep. oh, yeah, I remember that. Different. I saw that. I saw, saw that. that, right? I w- I'm not going to lie. I was pretty pissed off. I was yeah, pretty freaking right. pissed off. I was like, man, she was like, I hate my skin color. I'm like, yep. she was a pretty girl, yeah. pretty girl. But I mean, man, that's crazy. That's crazy. And but I mean, like-, like I said, you can't really tell somebody how to identify. I mean, people have to be happy within themselves. And if who they are at the moment is not what's fulfilling them, then you got to do what you got to do. So are we saying that we accept transracial as a concept and as an identity? I mean, I- I'm open-minded. I'm open-minded to it because, like I said, I, I just, you can't tell people how to identify. It would be hypocritical of me to say that, you know. But mm. I may not understand all parts of it because I've never met anybody who has been through that experience. I don't have no personal insight to it. So I can't really say too much. But, I'm, you know, from a bird's eye view, I have my questions. Right. Yeah, I agree. And there's two takeaways for me, right? Don't pick and choose when it's convenient for you. Mm -hmm. And then two, don't, if you're a black woman and you identify as white, don't bash black women. Mm -hmm. Don't bash it. Just be who you are. Yeah. I'm with that all the way. I'm with that. Don't bash it. 
And I never met anyone transracial either. If anyone who's listening to this podcast identifies as transracial, please hit us up. Let us know. Because I would love to just get some more insight on that. 